Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not supposed to see this. Not yet. Hang on a second. You see, Gertje has sent this over along with his daughter Moana, and I promised I wouldn't share the gameplay because it's something you need to experience yourself. But we are going to take a look at their brand new game called Spring. Unbox it. Yes, it's a physical experience. And we're going to take a look at some of the technical pieces to load the game, what the programming and code looks like. And we're going to see what the pieces are that come with the box set. It is a fun unboxing and video. I hope you'll join this edition of Retro Combs. This is so cool, folks. High score for me. So Gertrude reached out and said, hey, I have a new title for the Mega 65 and said, would you like to take a look? And I said, of course I would. And what I love about this is that it is a combined family affair. We have Gertrude, we have his daughter Moana, and we have his sister, Gertrude's sister, working on this project together. And this is the box that was sent over. We're going to now take a look inside the box and see what comes with spring. All right, this one arrived all the way from Australia to the United States. Thanks for taking the time to ship that my way, Gertje. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have inside. Whoa, check that out. We have the spring packaging. This is really nice. We have spring tape around the sides here. Holding it all together looks like a nice little Christmas package. And as a reminder, this would make a great Christmas gift for that Mega 65 fan in your life. I kind of hate to unpackage it. Oh, this hurts to do this, but here we go. Let's see if we can save this ribbon. This is really cool. Custom ribbon, nicely done. Okay, now we'll do the packaging paper. Oh, very cool. Look at that. Even in its plastic wrap, hermetically sealed. Let's go ahead and get this plastic off so that we don't have all the reflection. Again, very nicely packaged. I love the independent developer nature of this. This is just fabulous. Folks, this is what happens when a family comes together to do something fun. And here is our hand-drawn packaging. Now, my understanding is that Goethe enlisted the aid of his sister to put the packaging and the materials together. You can get all the information about this software on his website, the Spring website. I have a link down in the video description below for you. Let's go ahead and take a look around the box here. All the art done by Moana. Very nicely done, Moana. That is so cool. Love the little character here, I'm assuming. And I think rightfully so that this is the character in the video game. It'd be interesting to see how well that is portrayed in 8 bits, right? This is making me want to go see my granddaughters. All right, let's go ahead and lift the top off. What we have inside. Let's see what we have here. It's our box top. Set that to the side. Oh, look at this. Inside we have a key, a special key right here. Look at that. Here we have some instructions. Very nice. Oh, look, oh, look at this. It is a handwritten note. It says, thank you, Retro Combs, for getting my game from Moana. I hope you enjoy it. I drew the rainbow carpet all by myself, and what a good job. And the girl and the water bottle and the banana. See you soon. And this is her little mark. This was so nice of her to put this in my special package so that I could share with all of you. Very nice, Moana. Thank you for the very kind note. What we have here, we have a, I think it goes this way. We'll find out what this is for as we get into the game. I love the little touches that we get. Oh, this is, this is actually cardboard. This looks like a little game board. Now, again, I am opening this for the very first time. I chose not to read any information about the game before I got the package because I want all of this to be a surprise. Oh, wow, look, inside we get some more items. We have an eraser, a spring eraser with our character. We have a crayon. Oh my goodness, my first official spring Mega 65 crayon. What else do we have? Is this a banana? We have a banana, a handmade banana. It is, it is a handmade little banana. Check that out. And we have, what is this? 
love all the little touches, all the little extra pieces. Oh, look at this. We have a water bottle. This looks like a spring water bottle. Look at that. Mega 65. Family, this is so well done. I love all the little touches, all the Mega 65 logos. I can't wait to see what these represent within the game. And then the actual physical disc, and we will actually be loading the game from the disc. Very cool. And what do we have here? Oh, here we go. Game Guide. So by Moana and her daddy. And I think they've done a good job so far. Thank you for purchasing the game. Full game guide is available here. That is online. And then here's your brief instructions. We need to insert our floppy. We need to type mount. We need to type boot. We need to press option one to play the game. Press Y on ROM warning. It does use a custom ROM, but it's included on the floppy is what I understand. And you can choose from one to four for your level of difficulty. And then of course, use your joystick import too. You know what? We need to do that. We need to take this disc now, go plug it in. I can't wait to see what this looks like. Okay, now that we have the disc in, let's grab our instructions and see what we need to do next. Let's go ahead and boot up the Mega 65. Okay, the first thing we have to do is type mount to mount the three and a half inch floppy. And then the next thing we need to do is type boot. And that should start the game. And there we have it, Spring, a game by Moana and her daddy. And then we have four options. We have play game, about this game, browse the source code, and exit. Let's go ahead and do about the game. And it says, my daddy kept bugging me to write a game on his silly Mega 65 thing. And I finally relented and shared my game design vision with him on the condition that he will do all the dumb code monkey work and leave all the important game design work to me. And she did a really nice job, by the way. So that I have top billing in the credits. I'm glad she does. And I might consider giving him a little mention in passing. Either that or I throw a few peanuts his way as a reward. So funny. I'm not going to spoil the rest of it for you. We'll let you experience that when you get your own version of Spring. I do want to check out the Browse the Source Code. I think this is very interesting. This is a way you can look at this game and see yourself how it was created and learn how you can create your own games on our favorite Retro Recreation, the Mega 65. Let's check it out. Browse the source code. Here are the main source files. You can see we have one, two, three, and four. And then we have miscellaneous files, which look like a melody and the auto boot. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the first one, number one. This started off as an example of using the Seamlib library, but then evolved into the actual spring game. So I probably should have renamed it to be called spring.el. The file's worth a browse for folks curious to see how Seamlib can be made use of. Let's check it out. Let's open it up by hitting return. This will open in the 11 development environment. Very cool. I love the way this works. Okay, here's the source code. Looks like we've moved into the 11 development environment in 80 column mode so that we can take a look at it. Look at this. If you're not familiar with 11, be sure to check out the Mega 65 files host where you can download it and learn more about it. Basically what we have, and I say basically, is an upgraded way to program on the Mega 65 using basic, but we can combine it with some structured modern programming techniques. And then we can take the basic and compile it so that things run faster. You can see some strings here. Here's a text string, a dollar, which says a game made by Moana. So we can pull up that string at any point within our software. So again, just a great little addition. Thank you, Gertje, for sharing the source code with us so that we can take a look at it and learn how to do things ourselves on our Mega 65. You'll see that along the bottom here, we have some menus. So if we want to exit out of this, we can do that. Let's go ahead and go to F1. And let's pull up a directory of the other files that we can load. So now here's the contents of the entire disk. So if you want to look at these other EL files, you can do that. Let's load up Melody. Now, Gertje is known for his music on the Mega 65. I'm sure this is the file that provides all of the songs for this game. It's interesting, this file actually contains our key mappings for the game. All right, here we go. You can see here, these are the instruments we'll be using within our game, as well as our environment types for the name, the attack, the case, sustain, release, waveform for the music that's throughout the game. So you can see how Gertje has constructed his music for the game. All right, let's get out of here. All right, let's go ahead and try and play the game. 
See here, we have a core warning. This game has been tested against a certain core. I believe I have the latest core on my Mega 65, but there were instructions in here that guide us through the core selection process and the ROM selection process. So we should be good to go. I'm going to go ahead and press any key. And now here's that ROM warning. Now it does want to use an experimental ROM. It says my ROM is version 920413. It says, would you like to temporarily switch to this ROM? If you don't switch, you will experience music slowdown issues due to existing older ROMs blocking basic play command while in syscalls. I'm just curious. I'm going to choose to use my own ROM. It says the program requires switching from NTSC to PAL. My Checkmate monitor will take care of all that for me. You can see we've switched to PAL, 576p at 50 hertz, and it is loading the game. And you can see we have this nice high resolution screen. I do have a joystick in joystick port two. Looks like we can choose a level of difficulty, easy, medium, difficult, extreme, definitely not gonna go extreme. Here's some quick instructions. Navigate your cute hero spring to avoid the batty wolves. Use the key to unlock the chest to collect gems. Eat bananas to keep your health up and drink water to prevent dehydration. Again, each one of those things are represented by items in our box of goodies. You have some credits down here. The song is Gertje's cover of the Dungeon of the Algebra Dragons theme. And then you can consider supporting Moana and her daddy's games with a donation over on PayPal and Patreon. I love that. Let's make sure and get out there and support independent developers such as Moana and her daddy, Gertje. Now the instructions did say that if I do play the game with this older ROM that I will experience some slowdown with the play of music. Let's just see if I notice that. The music playback does sound very slow. Let's check it out and see what happens when we play it with the experimental ROM. So let's switch temporarily to version 99999 experimental ROM. And you can see that booted up to the experimental ROM. That's impressive that he's able to code that into our basic programming. I can even tell that the music on the main screen is faster. Let's check out the gameplay. Yes, it's definitely fixed when you use the experimental ROM. Now just a couple of quick notes. This is running from a three and a half inch disc. You can transfer this to a .d81 file and run this and it would load a little bit faster. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Hey, Retrocombs, I've put up with a lot of video. Can I see the game? Sure. Don't tell Gertrude though, let's take a look at it. Well, of course I'm not going to show you. That is up to you and you need to go grab your copy of Spring right now and support this family of developers. And what a great way for you as an adult to share this game with a budding programmer in your life. Be sure to check out all of the information down in the video description to learn how you can get your copy of Spring. Limited versions of the physical media are available, so act fast if you want that. And again, I wanna thank Gertje and especially Moana for sending this box over to Retrocomb so that I can have my own copy and enjoy the game with the physical box. This is just amazing. You all did a great job once again. I can't tell you how much fun it was to open this. That's it for me, Retro Combs out. <laughs>